Dan is the king of high ticket sales, and he is a masterful entrepreneur. That's what I love about Dan, no BS. Dan is an exceptional leader, teacher, business mentor, and friend. Dan's a force of nature. $12 million in my pocket is what I believe I would have above and beyond what I've made in the last 10 years alone had I found Dan Locke sooner. Hey, Dan Locke here. If you don't know me, we have generated over $100 million in course and coaching sales in the last few years alone. And we have been able to do that without outside capital and without investors. And the reason we could do it is because we understand three numbers, three crucial numbers that you need to grow any business every single month. And today I'm gonna to teach you those three numbers. Number one is what we call your CAC. And that stands for cost of acquiring customers. How much does it cost you to get a customer in the door? Most business owners, when you ask them this question, how much does it cost for you to get a customer, to acquire a customer, they would say, well, I don't know. I grow through word of mouth or I run some ads on social media, but they're not clear how much does it cost to bring a customer in the door. If you don't know this number, you don't have a business, you have an expensive hobby. Because that means you don't have a predictable way of acquiring customers. That means your business will be going through ups and downs and ups and downs because you don't know. Because understand this, marketing is math. The second number that you need to know is your lifetime value of a customer. Lifetime value of a customer. Now how do you get to that number? You take your customer value times average lifespan of a customer. For example, let's say your customer value is 100 bucks. And on average, they stay with you for three years. So 100 bucks times three years, your lifetime value of a customer would be $300. $300. And then the third number that you have to know is your ROAS, return on ad spent. That means for every single dollar you spend on ad, how much you get back. Maybe you spend a dollar, you're getting a dollar back, you're breaking even. Or maybe you spend a dollar, you get two dollars back. Or maybe you spend a dollar, you get 10 cents back. These three numbers, why are they so crucial for your business? Let me explain. When you know for every dollar that you spent, let's say you spend a dollar, you get a dollar, two dollars back. When you know how much would it cost for you to get a customer, right? How much would it cost? I'm talking about all the costs. Example, if you have salespeople, includes the commissions. If you're running ads, include those costs. Now, in my case, I also include costs like design and, and funnel and everything else because I want to know for a project to build something, how much would it cost for me for everything to get a customer from my team and all the effort. You want that number to be positive. I know it sounds so simple, but it is that simple. When it comes to growing your business, it's all about making the little tweaks. How do I lower my CAC, lower my cost of acquiring customers? How do I maximize my lifetime value? How do I optimize that? How do I extend the lifespan of a customer? And then how do I get a good return in terms of different channels? Maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's social media, maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's TikTok, doesn't matter. How do I make sure I get a good return for every single dollar that I spent? You could do this, your business will grow. And that's exactly what we did to grow. How do I acquire a customers profitably or at break even? And once they come in, I could offer them high ticket products and services to maximize the lifetime value. If you could spend $10 to get a customer and you can sell them something for $100. How often would you do it? You would do that all day long, wouldn't you? That's exactly how this works. So those are the three crucial numbers you must figure out and you must constantly monitor and optimize in your business. Until next time, go high ticket.